Hello everyone, welcome in, and today we're going to be doing some more Procreate art. We're going to revisit the uh, shop that we started last week. So that'll be what we're working on today. So let's jump on over. Okay, so here's our shop. Let me turn on our music. Music today is provided by Lo-Fi Geek, and it's the House in the Woods playlist. Go support them. Uh, they're one of my favorite Lo-Fi artists, and I like supporting friends. Okay, so I've done a lot since the last time you guys have seen this. Let me get up here and just select the line art, and I'll turn it back up. So last time we kind of just did a uh, line art for the shop and I noticed we have a lot of dip frames. So let me try and fix that. Let's see what's punching up stuff. Uh, of course it would. Okay. We're going to try something else. Because those are some choppy frames. I don't like that. So while I'm doing this, I will go over a brief explanation of some changes. So we just had the shop. We didn't have the uh, inhabitants. I hadn't decided how I was going to populate the scene yet. So you'll notice uh, it's a bit more lively than the last time. So we've got a, a person over here sweeping up. We've got someone over there sitting on the first step, kind of looking over at this bush. And we've got a shop bot and a, another patron here discussing the wares. Let's see if this works. We'll see if the frame dipping goes down now. Uh, and then we chose some wares and shopkeeper and a patron over here in the tent section. So those are the changes I made to the sketch from the last time we were on stream. I'm going to turn this way back down again because I am now in the coloring phase. Let's turn everything back on. Here's the color scheme. I'm going for a kind of light pastel look for this one. Just kind of give you an overview. I started on the detail work too, um, but I didn't get very far. So you'll notice the, the grass has line details. I didn't do the details for the pathway yet um, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do any details there. I may go in and rough up the edges a little bit to kind of give it a, a worn path look and not just like a paved dirt road, I guess you can say. And then I started on this tree, and then I stopped on the project, because I didn't like the way this willow was being presented. So... I think I'm going to clear away that. Yeah, and I'm already liking that better, but not the best. So let's just get rid of everything here. And we'll go in there and start on it later. I think for now, where I'm going to start is working on the pathway. I'm going to go ahead and grab this color. Let me make sure I'm in the right brush set, the ones that I've made, and then I'm going to 
with a wild brush, I think. And I'm also going to make sure my eraser is in the proper set. And I'm just going to kind of break up the edges, not make it so solid, so clean. We're just going to try to make it look like the grass got worn away from pedestrian walking. I think over here we'll have it lighter. Maybe we'll do like um, patches. Continue that all the way around. And let's not make this so perfect. I'm going to come in here though and erase back into shape. For the L. It's just a preference of mine. Maybe we'll have some grassy patches over like this. Like that. Let me zoom out. Yeah, I don't like that in the middle. We're just gonna clear it. Let's go over here. Fade out these edges. too much. We don't really want that guy to be sweeping the grass, you know? I wonder if Twitch is just laggy today. Hey, Jexoy! Did I notice Cloutchu? I'm gonna shout out both my friends here. Cloutchu's on their one-year uh, anniversary stream, and it was kind of choppy, too. Nice to see you here. I hope you're going to have a wonderful week with your family uh, for the holidays and such, if you are in that part of the world. I'm gonna shout you out first. Let me pause my music. Oh, it's the glitch Mario run. Um, I'm stuck. Become one with the tent. And so now, uh, Mario is a cursed clown. Uh, I remember my friend getting this clip today, too. <laughs> it's a popular clip, apparently. Twitch loves it. Everyone likes it when I'm stuck. Uh, yeah, that's true. It is fun, but my all-time favorite is still going to be the, uh... I'm so stupid, but I'm a genius! This 
still gonna be my favorite. I also gotta give a shout out to Cloud 2. That was a great moment. Uh, let's see if I can even do that without them present. Right, let me go say hi to Cloud Tutu. Yes, it is their one year anniversary. So if any of you have time, go wish them a happy anniversary. Um, I got to look up. It's Cloud Chu 9000. Let's see if it'll let me do a a handy dandy shout out. It does not exist. The heck it doesn't. It does to exist. I'm looking right at it. For those of you who don't know, Cloud2 is our friend. A beautiful electrical rat. Okay, it won't let me. <laughs> they exist. I promise they do. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get back into this. Let me turn the music on. Okay, uh, we just finished up the grass. Let's go ahead and group these. I'm not going to bother naming them. I don't feel like it today. I am going to be messy. That is my choice I am going to make today. Okay, so let's work on this willow tree. This willowish tree here that I can't quite figure out how to do the effects on. I need to switch my brushes. We'll do the stable one. I gotta think, do I want to do it like this? I'm not quite sure what way, what way I would actually do it. going and I'll see if I like the look of the finished product. Maybe I'm wrong and it's just in that scrungly art phase where it doesn't look right. There's always that phase of the piece where nothing looks right. Okay, I am liking that better than the original way that I had it. I'm gonna go ahead and um so what I like to do is I'll turn this into an ad, grab the color, clear it out and turn it back to normal. Because Procreate the additive layers are a little wonk sometimes. I'll just grab the color. Do I want them overlapping? I don't really like that look. Okay, we'll have them not overlapping. I think it's the best course of action. Yeah, we'll let them overlap like up here. But other than that, we'll try to keep it pretty narrow. I'm definitely going to turn down the opacity of this here in a bit.
I was gonna extend that, but that doesn't quite look right. I think 50% is good. Okay, I'm liking that. Uh, I'm also gonna try something different this time. I usually don't do shading or lighting in these pieces when they're like this storybook feel, but I saw another creator who has a similar style to mine, like a storybook feel, and they did very light uh, shading effects, and I like the look of it. So I think I'm going to try it out for mine. So I'm going to come down here back to the grass layer. I forgot I was reaching my layer limit. I think I'm just going to resize the piece. So, gotta go through and select everything. For people who don't use Procreate, um, the number of layers allowed is dependent on your canvas size. And I start out with a really large canvas size, just because that's what's going to look best in the end. You see, it's like 3,000 pixels. Um, let's bring it down to like this size. How does that look? How does the square canvas look? Okay, we just need it to be a little bit more rectangular here. But I think this is good. Okay, yeah, that turned out just fine. So now I'll be able to add my layer like I wanted. I'm gonna select this. I'm actually gonna select this dark color here. Do it a little lighter. We'll make sure I have my stable on, and we're gonna do clipping mask so it's only affecting the grass. Oh, I forgot my pathway. <laughs> okay, so this is what we need to do. Very simple fix. This goes here. We're going to turn clipping mask off there. We're going to move the pathway to the bottom of the canvas. Merge these two and then get these back into clipping mask. And there we go. And I'm also going to erase this layer. And now I just need to go through and fix the grass. Where there's some problems. do that over here. I actually think I like it kind of cut off there. Let me hit the eraser. We're just gonna kind of add this and get some more texture back in there by uh, going back to my wild brush. I'll just do like a very light pathway. going to kind of do the same here. I'm going to erase this back and then we'll re-add the texture edge. Hmm. I don't like this after all. Let's do this. I'm going to go back to the point before we merge the layers. Okay. 
Now let's select on automatic. We're going to select the path base. Invert. That's incorrect. Just select the pathways. We're going to come here and hit clear. That way it's back to where it was. And then we'll merge that down. Set these to clipping. Okay. And we're going to get this dark green color again. We're going to go back to our stable brush and right and do a sketch. Well, not a sketch, a um, shading layer. I guess I gotta kind of decide sunlight situation first. I'm gonna come back up here. We'll say a warm light. We'll have it kind of up here and behind things. Just kind of gonna get in guides on where the light goes. This is just for me because I'm not so great about thinking about it in my head sometimes. So I kind of need it outside so I know what's going on. It's never a bad thing to cheat at art a little. It's okay. The grace have been doing it for a long time long before I was here on Earth. So this is gonna be just a little bit under. And that's the thing. Do I want to do the shadows in a color or do I want to do it in blue or red. I think since it's not a flesh tone, we'll do the shadows in blue. And I'll come and line this up later. Put that line there. Now, this object um, there is outside of the tent, but the rest of them are in it. So the shadows gonna kind of get cast like this. Let's undo that. I'm gonna get a properly lined up line. We'll do kind of like a setting, setting sun. So we'll get quite a big cast shadow. I'm gonna switch over to my rough brush and fill this in. And I think the line actually needs to come out a little more. is still a multiply. Let's turn this to normal. And I'm going to lower the opacity until it's at a place that I like. I think 40 is pretty good. 
we'll say 40. Since this object's not one with a um, solidish outline, I guess it's a leafy bush. We'll have a, a jaggedy shadow. This one will kind of have a straight shadow. Do a shape shadow there for that. Let's do a small cast shadow for this one. Looking back on it, it may still be a little too dark for what I am going for. Let's try 15%. And I can't really tell if I'm going to like that right now for the overall look, but we will see. We'll work on other things. Let's come over here into the willow and decide on some shading there. I'm going to get the rough brush and print it off. I'm not quite sure how I want to shape this. Let's get this down to the 15%. Could you like that? Kind of do like this. Hmm. Let's just mess around and find out. I think it adds something nicer. A little bit more depth. I don't know if I also want to add a lighting layer. Let's test that out. So we'll get the lighting color. And kind of put it on the places where the light would be touching the most. And kind of find an opacity that I like. So 40 maybe? Let me come in here and mess up the edges a little. Okay. 
curiosity a bit. We'll leave it for now. And if I don't like it later, I can cut back. Maybe let's also go ahead and add the lighting up here in these edges. Work on the building. Oh, I need to change my brushes. We're going to go back to stable. We're just going to add lines in the places where there should be some differentiation in the color. shading on the inside there. Let's not worry with that. Let's go ahead and get this one put in. I'm going to edit that shape. That curve's not quite right. Edit this so it's as close to the original sketch as possible. Here, this one's on a walk. I'm not quite happy with that shape. I need to adjust it a little more. I think that one's better. Let's get that line in here where the pot sits. Here where the 
It's also a good opportunity to correct the shapes of the sketch that weren't working very well. do a full line I think I'll just because it's part of the wall it's not separate we'll just put some creases there that's right this bench is also part of the down to this original layer, turn down my eraser and kind of fix that shape. Okay, I think that's good for there. to finish this. I'm also going to switch to rough brush. All this would be in shadow. Get my eraser, get it back more precisely. But because this is in the shade of the 
can't. That's going to be darker. I also need to come down here. Oh no, it's that the, uh, the tent isn't erased back enough. So let's come here. Here we go. Let's get this down to the 15%. I'm trying to think how this shadow would work with these cloth because there's light. Where am I? There's light coming here and here. I'll work on something I do know. All that's going to be shaded because it's in the background. Wow, to raid! New space friends reporting for duty. Welcome in! This is the friend I was trying to shout out earlier because it's their anniversary. Welcome in, everyone. Nice to meet you. I am Olo the Golobian. I'm here on Earth to study Earth's culture through games, music, and art. Today, we're making some art. Thank you for coming in. I hope you guys have a great, a great time. And Cloud2, I hope your, uh, your stream anniversary was a fun one. And uh, I hope too many creepers didn't blow you up while I was gone. <laughs> Right? Can you believe the cloud? I gift him a sub and he ends the stream. <laughs> yeah, it seems about right. You cannot con control Cloud Chew. Let me see. It, I tried to shout you out earlier and it said account does not exist. So let me... Let me give you a shout out. Now that you're here and I can actually see you in my chat. So mid. Ooh, woo. there you go. Ooh, I got a free ooh woo too. You know, I'm gonna have to just go into your chat and uh, sp uh, spam points and be like, "This isn't even a redeem. This is for all the free ones I got during your shoutouts." Uh, welcome in everyone. So, uh, let me let me get the music. Music today is provided by Lo-Fi Geek. Not my music. Uh, shading. We were into shading. So, for those of you stopping in, this is our alien market. Uh, and we started it last week, but we're going into the coloring and shading phase of it now. And right now, we're shading the building. Hello, we need to get you to affiliate so we can get both emotes and spam channel points at you so you can hydrate. Oh, no, uh, just type in exclamation point hydrate. Or exclamation point stretch. I already have those. Aha! See? Now I can do this. Thank you for letting me get nice and hydrated, nice and... Alright, let's do a stretch. Let's see if I can do this properly. Thank you for taking care of me, friends. You're the best. Well, and it has already been like 50 minutes and I have done nothing. Also, if you like throwables, we have um, exclamation point uh, GG uh, P. So like golf, golf party. And uh, exclamation point dino. Or uh, exclamation point DB, I should say, for dino bash. I've got a bunch of stuff you can do. Finally, I have the hidden knowledge. It's a, it's a DB. Plus, <laughs> there we go. 
Oh no, it's broken. Why did I say that? Hold on, I will get you a free one, Jexoy. F. I'll get you a free one. Let's see if it works. It's gonna take a second to, to restart it. Much apologies, friends. Yeah, I already have stuff for redeems and such so far. I just uh, gotta use exclamation points because I'm not a professional yet. I've still got a long way to go before I am professional. You guys are gonna see nothing for a minute. Much apologies. Well, that's loading up, doing its thing. I need to get over here and decide on some light. I'm still on the eraser. I think there will be some shadow here. get our Hermosius sorted. Never mind. After you left, I had sang CPR by Cupcake. Uh, that part's blacked out for me. So, uh, I'm glad you left. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna have to close this. Well, you know, I could always just go back to the VOD. There's no escaping my watchful eye spots. Plus, if someone clipped it, it's gonna wind up on my channel eventually. In my defense, it was a redeem I had to. No, don't! You see that you've given her the lore. She can just go look at the VOD. <laughs> yep. I'm unstoppable. Let's, uh... Oh, I'm gonna be shaded. And then that one would be in the light, so that one's fine. Maybe I should do... Well, now it wants to work. But in, like, the most inappropriate way per usual. Okay, let's just get rid of that for today. Uh, let's see, do I want to do like this? Get like a cylinder shading? Yeah, I think so. And let's bring some of this back out into the light. Inside here would be shadowed. Just do like right there.
Okay, let's get some shading behind this plant. And also here. Some shading under this guy. That part over there is pretty much free. Let's get some curve shading here. On that part. Since we're doing shading on the curves, I gotta come back and do that on the steps too then. Go ahead and get the inner part of this one shaded. Bring that down. So you wouldn't be seeing very much of it. Uh, get some shading under this plot. A little under the sign. Okay, on the curve of this plot here. This part of this step, I guess. Definitely gonna have to come back here and clean everything up properly. I think this part would all be shader too. Get a little bit under our friend over here. that plant there, over here on this side of the step. Okay, and then let's get our cleanup. Top of the step would be here. I need to race back this part just a little. I need to come back here and erase this. I didn't realize I'd gone over that. Since this is curved and in the way, I think we all are going to get a cast shadow from the building a little bit here or two. I'm going to raise that down to have a hard edge there because it's part of the building shadow. Let's come back here. Look at some shadow underneath some of these leaves. Let's see, and then our big friend here would probably be casting a kind of shadow of some sort. something like that. Oh, thank you for the head pats. Much appreciated. 
makes me feel so special. Let's see. I think um, we'll go ahead and do a lighting layer. the tops of these would be lit. And not shaded. I'll need to go in and erase that part of the shading layer too. I will go ahead and do the same with this one since they're cylindrical. It wouldn't be completely shaded. This one needs to be in the light. And then we'll just do the top of this one. Raise that back. would probably be catching a little bit of the top of this and the top of this arch too and not the inside there that would be completely shaded Have it touch the top of this bench. The tops of the step. I'm gonna turn this brush size down. I'm not having to do as much cleanup. The top of this surface, probably. bit where that friend isn't sitting. Maybe a little bit at the rim area of this plot. Okay, and then let's get that turned down. I believe it was like 30. Let me go back and check. Yeah, it was 30. I think I'm going to turn it a little further down on the, the building, though. We'll do about 20% opacity. Okay, now we're on to the claw. This one, we need to not do the clipping mask. We need a brown color. Uh, let me go to my stable sketcher. We need to get some rope in here. On the edges of the blanket. And we could probably Move this up a layer and we'll just add the same rope pieces here. And then here. that come down behind her. I 
Okay. This particular piece of cloth doesn't have any details on it yet. Let's just get in some shading. I'll make it darker towards the cinched part. Get a little cast shadow here. Okay, and this can go back down to 15%. Let's see about getting a pattern. Lisa Bardo has this Imperfect Patterns brush set that I would highly recommend if you're into uh, like watercolor or storybook uh, patterns. Let's do blobs. I think we'll make this one an add layer. Oh, let's turn down the size of those blobs. Okay, we're gonna make this really wide because I'm gonna come in here and rotate it. There's already some places that I need to do some stretching to get past. And then do a warp. We're going to warp it to the shape of the clock. Like so. And I'm going to turn this down. Until it's in a place I like it. About 30% I think is nice. Just gives it some nice texture. Go ahead and group those. No! You know, I don't like the ads. But I don't want to go through the trouble of signing in on a different browser just so I could listen to my music. And why I was on a three hour playlist, it completely changed. My playlist on me. What's up with that? I'm here for a long time. I just want to listen to my lofi. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the pattern on this one. Let's do this on a multiply because it's already a pretty light color. I'm going to select the original lavender here. And... Let's get dashes. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn down this brush again. We won't make it as small, I think. And we'll leave it like that, but we'll warp it. Okay, let's reset it. I'm going to take my Selection brush. And then we're going to warp it. And then we'll 
do the same thing for the other parts. We're just trying to make it look like that fabric is getting pinched in and sagging toward the bottom but tighter at the top. And we're going to kind of do the same thing here. Going to make sure the shape is a little more in line with what's happening. I think that needs a little more work. So let's reselect it and warp again. Okay, I think that's a little better. And I think I like that opacity on it. So let's get the layer above and do some shading. I need to make sure I'm back into my brush set. Did it do it again? I swear to goodness, if it changed the playlist in the middle of the three hour thing, I'm going to. Yeah. Is that still on the same playlist? Got my eye on you. Fine. We're gonna come in here, make a shadow on both sides where it's creasing into this rope, and then shadow where it's curving inward. Let me go ahead and get this down to the not on the foliage. I think maybe we'll leave that for a foliage only occasion. I'm gonna remove it from everything else. Okay, we'll group these. Then we'll group all of those together. I need to figure out where's my hooks? Here they are. These I need to bring down. Okay, this needs to be in our blanket group. And above it, we need um, the brown color again. Okay. And now we're going to do the ties. That's why, okay. I just need to come back to the tent layer and erase it back some more. There we go. 
Okay, and then... I think I'll leave it like that. I don't know if I want to add shading to those parts. Let me think about it for a second. Hmm. I want to do shading. I'll just do it. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. here uh I'm gonna switch to the rough brush this part here would be all shaded in let me do a curve okay. and then anything under that we can shade in A bunch of foliage work over there. I'm going to move the building parts oh, down here. Goodness, never mind. These, uh, these ads are getting intrusive. Time for your intrusive capitalism. I'm going to go through all the suffering so I can just not have ads. Yeah, I better not hear another peep out of you. Okay, let's do the door details. I'm gonna switch back to my brush. Forgot to mention, going to be drawing along. Neato burrito. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to enforce an art tax on you, but you know, if you feel you want to share something with me, you know, later, I would not be offended. I do enjoy all the things that you produce. The 
see if I can even finish it. Oh, I know that sentiment. I was supposed to have this finished last week. Everyone at my house wants my attention all of a sudden. Isn't that the way it goes? It's always when you're in the zone and they're like, oh, hey, actually, here's nine things we need your help with. I'm going to turn this down a little. 60%. Uh, what color should I have the centerpiece? I'll make it pink, like the details in the building. and stuff. I'm, it's starting to grow on me. I didn't know if I liked it the way I did it at first, but you know, I actually think I do like it now. Okay, so now this is the wrong layer. Uh, this is the bush up there. You saw it changing. This is the bush that binds them all. So we're just gonna get the detail lines in here. Okay, I think actually for the bush I'm gonna switch to my foliage brush for the shading. I'm going to turn it down. Hmm. Is this thing on? Clear. Why, why no have the big mask off? I don't see it. Did I turn this down? No, it's still at normal. Let's turn the size up. Hmm. understand why my brush broke. It worked in October. What happened? Oh, the opacity. There it is. Okay. Back to where we were. Okay. I'll just kind of fill out where the shadows are in this, uh, this little bush. I need to turn my clipping mask back on. Okay. 
Okay, that's actually not too bad. Since we were doing the lighting layer on the foliage, let me get in here. And also do some highlights with it along the edges. is 30% on the willow, so we'll turn it down to 30% here. And then we'll group those. This one's this spiky plant. Let me get back down to my stable brush, and we'll do the lines for it. here and clean up this shape a little, the back shape. Hey Mimic! Welcome in! I hope you are having a great time and I hope you're having a great start to uh, your holiday weekend if that's what you celebrate. Let me give you a shout out. So Cryptic has recently uh, reached affiliate. So uh, anyone who's watching this in the future or now, if you're not, it's time to go follow him. Metal Gear, let's go. What's more American than, <laughs> than the American president in a mech suit? Let's... Uh, I need to race. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm racing. Welcome in. Cryptic, I hope you're having a lovely day. I love that game! It's been a long time since I've played a Metal Gear game. Speaking of which, did, <laughs> did you guys see that meme? Um. And it's not really a meme, okay? There's this video that's circulating around and there's this guy who's cheating and his mistress goes out onto the balcony and hides in like an old vacuum cleaner box and the girlfriend's running around throwing things everywhere, screaming so loud the neighbors are coming out of their houses to see what's happening. And this girl's not found and she just sits in this vacuum cleaner box until the coast is clear. And it's like, wow, way to middle gear that situation. I don't agree with what's happening here, but way to go on not getting murdered. I need to come over here. Yeah, I'm going to raise it back a little bit. Oh goodness, I have to shade this monster of a plant. I 
I'm just gonna do the lazy man method. Everything on this side. Whoops, forgot to put the mask. We've been playing uh, Pokemon Scarlet in our household in our free time. And uh, it's got its ups and downs. I don't know if uh, anyone's seen any internet discourse about it, but it is choppy and scrungly. And for it being like one of the highest grosses franchising in the world, you do feel they could have done better. But it is a step in the right direction as far as gameplay goes. Also, new emote is coming, moving the uh, little emote to a bit uh, slot so I can still use it. Kixie, who made it, doesn't really like how it came out. But I have a new hug emote coming whenever it gets approved. Congratulations! I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be so fun. By the way, I kind of get where Kixie's coming from. It's It was a good email, but whenever you grow as an artist and you're looking at your old work, you're like, oh god. Oh, the cringe. Oh, it, it's so bad. So... They've done great work on the emote. I think they just progressed and now they're uh, cringing at their past selves, I guess. I need to get this color again. I did zoom it in when I moved it, so it hopefully is easier to read. Sorry, I gotta focus for a minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it will be. Let's just get the edges for these. Why did my music stop? I stopped it. Me. I'm the monster. Okay. Okay, where is this plant? That's this spiky little guy over here. Come clean up this face shape. This song is making me want to play Dome Keeper so bad. Goodness, I love that game. Up, oh, hit a layer limit. Um. 
Let's go through and do some merging. I don't want to resize it again. I love these tracks. Yes, they're um, by Lo Fi Geek, and it's the House in the Woods playlist over on YouTube. Royalty free, by the way, so you can you can play it on stream and leave it in the VOD. Send me those links later, you know I will. I'm on it. Okay, same song and dance, this side. By the way, Jixoy, as a um, fellow enjoyer of musical oddities, have you ever heard of Helung, the uh, the Viking <laughs> uh, group? They recently released a new album of theirs. I did not mean to do that. And that's my jam right now. I gotta go back and grab this color. Can you say the name again? I was taking off my earbuds to hear better. Yes, uh, Heelung. It's H-I-E-L-U-N-G. Uh, I said that super fast. Let me know if you need me to repeat it again. They are the, uh, the Viking band. They had a viral video that was really popular because they were holding their concert in the cove of a, a shore and it the acoustics were just, oh, so tasty. And I am probably pronouncing their name wrong. Like, big time. It is possible. I might not recognize the name. I tend to listen to a bunch of stuff. That's okay. I listen to Too Many to Count, and my 80s playlist is now at 340 songs. Every week it grows, or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. The good news is, whenever we fly to America on the super long airplane <laughs> flight, uh, I will never run out of songs. I could probably listen from one end of that playlist to the other and still have songs left over by the time I got to the final destination. Anything 80s related is like, I listen to so much a lot of names get lost to the void that's true sometimes i just refer to groups by the song you know the ones that just that wood song you know the one with the guitars i promise they're real i only know one line of the lyric by heart I get like that sometimes. It's like, it's good. I can remember the riff, but I'm not gonna... <laughs> I can't say it out loud. Do I want to do like this or do I want to... I think I'm gonna get my foliage brush. And I don't think I'm going to line that out. Let's get the shadow. I 
and there are others that are known by the name, like home. I listen to so much music, it's not even funny. Most of my spare money goes to getting more music, really. Because I'm one of those weirdos. I don't do subscription services. I purchase my music because I, I want to own it. So wherever I'm at, I have it and no one can take it away from me. I also listen driving around, so I don't uh, get to look at all, uh, the names either. Oh, that makes sense. If you just have it on for background and you're like, man, this is my favorite playlist, but you don't memorize the artist or songs, that's totally valid. Okay, these are the pink things, so let's get that shaded. Sometimes I also get so lost in the music, I forget to check. Why is music so good? I think it's universal. There's just something inside everyone that resonates to the frequencies that they love the best. Super fascinating. Uh, have you heard the oldest surviving music piece that we have? Yes, it's that Egyptian one, right? The uh, the one where they were able to decipher it from the hieroglyphs and uh, recreate it. Yes, I have heard it and I do enjoy it. By the way, uh, YouTube knows that we know each other. So, you know, the Google, <laughs> the Googles has connected us now and uh, they recommended that video to me, even though I've seen it. And they're like, hey, you want to see this one? Because maybe one of your friends has. I wonder what kinds of music were lost to time. It's a shame. Uh, yeah, so basically something like 90% of all human history wasn't recorded because we weren't writing it down and the stuff we were using was not very sturdy. <laughs> so there's a lot of human history that's just gone. Oh yeah, that's a that's a whole thing, by the way. If people didn't know, uh, Google does analyze your personal connections and gives you recommended videos based on things your connections have seen. So if I am introduced to a new group of people and I am interactive with them online, I will start getting new recommendations based on things they've seen. So that's a thing. You're lucky that I'm my, my main P, uh, account on PC. Whoops, I'm not on the right, bro. 
just for what I want to do. Here we go. Imagine the horrors you'd get if you were connected to my phone account. Uh, I watch Meat Canyon, so you're not going to scare me any more than he already has. I do like meat candy. Okay, we're <laughs> we're on the same wavelength. It's like I have the most mundane and weirdest history. <laughs> I feel the same way because I do have things like science related stuff and then I'll have uh just the worst kind of animation possible in the best way uh, next to it. It's a real hodgepodge. Let's lighten this up for the lighter part. a bunch of documentary videos, science, and then you will get videos like Mario's Lost in the Desert at 3 a.m. Ah, uh, the ambiance of a lost soul in a desert at 3 a.m. I actually think I like that. We'll leave it like that. Mmm, no, zooming out, that's a little too bright. Fifty-five seems right. I decay if that last one is real, but I would not be surprised. I wouldn't be either. But what was it? Just today I was recommended and I don't even watch these videos, so it's probably bleed over from you. But it was a specific song played in a mall at 2 a.m. Like, that's a whole genre of playlists. Let's get my foliage brush back out. This time flies. All right. I haven't even been looking at the clock. I'm not going to be able to finish this one on stream either. Again. <laughs> For my favorite, Cube Defender of the Polyverse. I'm going to have to look that up. I have not heard that one, but I will now. show on stream one day uh, because it's too good not to. I think I need to 
go back and do something real quick. There's a bunch of things I missed in some of these things. I tend not to show YouTube content on stream unless it's for educational purposes. That's true. Or analysis. I think I'm just going to leave this all the way up. Might as well. Oh, and I forgot the shading and stuff completely. I need to get out of the foliage brush though, because this one's way late. When I did my stream about the Ocarina of Time beta, I had some YouTube videos shown to compare some footage to what I was playing. That's fair. Stuff like that. Okay. I get it. I don't know, um, there's a lot of streamers that seem to show a lot of YouTube and stuff, a lot of other media, and I don't know how they're not getting copyright stricken left and right. idea honestly right it's a mystery I'm too on edge about copyright yeah the laws really need to be rewritten around that it's not in a good state right now like fair use should be fair use Yeah, I agree. In some countries, it's really bad. Uh, so I know here where I live, it's really easy to sue someone for defamation. And you can sue for defamation for anything and basically get a guaranteed win. Uh, isn't Japan super strict? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um... Copyrights and defamation lawsuits are just the worst. I was a little bit late on that. No, you're good. I think the stream is a little uh, delayed because I had some dropped frames um, in the beginning. I think YouTube's being scuffy, or not YouTube, goodness, Twitch is being scuffy right now. actually not that much of a delay thankfully thankfully good that's good to hear I remember when I first started um I had a problem with delay a big problem with delay and I would have like an hour to wait for the video to properly buffer on twitch it was not worth it so like my very first videos are just so bad actually more like five seconds let me count okay this is the beginning of your count yeah about five or six okay that's not too bad like I said, I've had it where I've been like 30 minutes to an hour behind. 
what's actually happening. That's actually really good in terms of delay. Yes, I think so. I think I'm well within my limits. I've got four minutes. I'm not within my limits here. Okay. Uh, this is the leafy bush over here. Gotta make sure I'm on the right brush. I'm on my PC, so I'm also on the device with the least amount of delay, I've noticed. Yeah, um, I typically try to support my streamer friends via mobile, and I'm not sure why there's quite the delay with, with mobile. And then, like, the PC watchers will be in the future telling me things and I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. Okay, this... This one's pretty much facing upward, so there's... The shading's gonna be like on these under bits. Maybe here in the center will do. This one's this plant down here. He needs some work. I need to come to the layer below and get in some dirt. And now I need like branches of some kind. Let's do white. so far. We got a bunch of the shading done. I probably will be able to get this piece done this week. I'll have plenty of time. Since we're doing a short stream week, so that'll be fine. You did great. Thank you. I'm trying to improve. Slowly but surely we'll get there.
Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do have some viewership. So let's go see if I have a friend or I didn't draw anything yet because I was lost in the conversation. That's okay. I was also lost in the conversation and didn't get much drawing done. It was fun. It was a good time though. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. It was a fun time. Okay, let's see if my friend, I see my friend Haru's on. Let's see if she's not going to be ending soon. Very comfy stream. Thank you. I hope it helps relax someone in the future. Okay, let's see if Haru's available. She started a little after you. I think she did too, so she should be free. Haru's another friend of mine that I'm trying to help get to. Uh, affiliate. Okay, yeah. She's playing uh, a wonderful game, Rune Factory 5. So we're going to go Raider. We put in our raid code. If you like, you can copy this and we'll go on over you're also uh close to 30 yes i know super proud of you thank you i'm still working on my 25 um you know my 25 reward it's a lot of work i probably made that reward too <laughs> Uh, too juicy for the number that I set it at according to some of my other friends so it's gonna take a while but I want to provide it nonetheless I never finished my 100 rewards it's never too late and if you're just too busy to get to it I'm sure people understand all right so without further ado we're going to end today's stream I want to thank everyone who came by for coming by. Thank you for uh, chatting with me. I had a great time. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. And until next time, have fun, space friends. <laughs>